Hi, this is Craig Stocks here at Utah Desert Remote Observatories. I want to give you an update on our construction on the new observatory. This is the Primrose Observatory. And as you can see behind me, we've got the concrete slab in now. That was poured yesterday morning. Uh, we started early. Uh, the first truck, concrete truck, arrived around 4 a.m., a little after 4. So we were actually out here at 3.30 uh, getting ready for the truck. Uh, 4.15, I think, was astronomical dawn yesterday, so we were starting in the dark. Uh, got four truckloads of concrete in for the floor. Uh, the foundation was already in. You might notice some cables sticking out of the side of the slab. Uh, we're doing this with a post-tension slab that will ensure that the slab is solid and stable and doesn't crack, move, shift, or any of those things that could cause problems. Uh, then we'll have a false floor over the concrete and all of the cabling will run underneath the false floor. We're pretty excited that we're finally making some good progress. Hopefully in the next few days we'll be setting up all of the sauna tubes to pour the support columns for the rails that extend from the building out. And we'll get that poured and then we can start installing the rails probably in about a week and a half or so once they're done with the post-tension cables. Uh, once the rails are in, we'll be able to start putting in the buildings, put in the false floor, build the uh, half wall around it, uh, finish the electrical, and we'll be ready to open. With luck, we'll be ready to open around the end of July. Uh, that's with everything going you know, perfectly and right on schedule. So keep our fingers crossed, and by end of July, sometime in August maybe, we should have the second observatory online and ready to rock and roll. Something we're doing differently with this observatory, the observatory behind me, the, our first main observatory here, that's the uh, SAGE observatory. Uh, that has a, a roll-off building design and the whole uh, metal building, that Quonset hut looking building, that whole thing opens to the, uh, I guess it'd be to your left looking at the screen. Uh, that's to the east if you're actually standing here. Primrose is going to have a different design, one I don't think I've seen before, but it'll actually have two roofs that overlap in the center. So each roof will open out. Uh, one will open to the east, one will open to the west, and they'll open about 10 feet beyond the fully open position so that we have a good low uh, horizon availability going both east and west, and then no obstructions to the north or south, so very low horizons. and. That, I think, is going to be a, a real nice, unique feature of this observatory. Well, I'm back again, and if you look behind me, you can see that we now have sauna tubes set. We have 20 sauna tubes set to support the rails as the buildings go off to the east and west. And then we have two additional posts set that will set the, uh, the openers on. So everything will be mounted on concrete posts. These are all set down below the frost depth, which is 30 inches here. And so that would give us a good, solid foundation for the building to roll on. So that's everything that's happening out here at Utah Desert Remote Observatories. You can check us out online at utahdesertremote.com. We'd love to talk to you about hosting your telescope under our clear, dark skies here in southwest Utah. Or if you're interested in some hourly rentals, uh, we do offer hourly rentals on our telescopes. You can find more information about that online also. And with that, I hope you have a great day today and an even better night tonight under a clear, dark sky. Thanks.